Hello again, and um, you know, thank you for staying with us throughout the day. Um, this is, uh, you know, we, we're now going into this presentation by Ravish. Um, he is uh, from Magnomer, and they have a very interesting technology which uses magnetizable Hello, yes. inks uh, for uh, recyclable packaging. A very unique technology, and uh, I look forward to your presentation, actually, Ravish. So you have uh, 15 minutes to present. Now thank you. Thank you very much, Kasa. Thank you for the opportunity. And hello, everyone who is able to join. Um, um, I'm, my name is Ravish Majithia. I am the founder and CEO at Magnomer. Um, and uh, looking forward to discussing here today. So Magnomer is a material science startup. We are based um, uh, near Boston, Massachusetts, here in the US. We also have our manufacturing facilities based out of Mumbai, India. So uh, kind of uh, dual location here. And uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, magnetizable inks and how we help consumer brands design recyclable packaging. So um, plastics recycling has been in focus now for a few years, uh, but it has been something that has been a chronic issue in the industry for decades now. Um, but uh, recent legislation globally, uh, everywhere from countries like India and China in Asia to the EU and even here in the US uh, in states like California and Washington, uh, we have legislation that mandates a minimum amount of recycled content uh, in a, uh, you know, a plastics package such as a beverage container. You know, beverage containers are mostly made up of type one plastic, which is PET. Um, and uh, right now, uh, as you can see, the current global supply of recycled PET that is available for use uh, for manufacturing of bottles is less than 10% of the overall demand uh, of, of what, what would be required to have a, have a container that has, you know, um, recycled content uh, for its manufacturing. Uh, this is far short of uh, what is the public commitment by consumer brands such as Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Nestle, Danone, Unilever, P&G, you name it. Uh, and more importantly, it far, falls way, way short of what is required by legislation that I was just talking about in EU, in US, in, in countries like India, China, and so on. Um, and you now what, what that has resulted, of course, Economics 101 is now brands are paying a significant upcharge for, for recycled plastic. So why does this happen? Um, you know, a, a lot of the, a lot of the um, issues uh, that, that we tend to focus around, you know, low recycling is, oh, people are not recycling correctly. You know, there's not enough collection for recycling. And while, while all of those are, not untrue they are definitely a part of the problem uh one of the biggest issues is that there is inherently uh not enough economic viability when it comes to recycling even something as simple and as ubiquitous as your standard beverage container um and it is it is the things that are in plain sight uh the packaging components such as labels that render packaging non-recyclable um you know, why is this the case? Typically, you know, every any beverage bottle has a label and manufacturing reasons, operational reasons, uh, supply chain reasons dictate that the labels be made up of a resin that differs from the bottle plastic itself, which means that unless you separate out these different types of plastic resins from each other, you are essentially getting a mix, which as any polymer engineer would tell you is not ideal when, when it comes to melting and extrusion properties and so on. So there is need for separation. There's need for economical separation across a wide variety of packaging categories. And it comes back to the, the way we design this package. Oftentimes packaging is designed for manufacturability. It is designed for, um, you know, keeping economics in mind. It is designed for better marketing. Uh, it is not designed for recycling and that's really what needs to change and that is what we at magnomer are really allowing consumer brands to do so what is what what do we do at magnomer so we are a as i said a materials company um, our uh, technology and our products revolve around the use of magnetizable components in printing ink so we sell magnetizable inks as a function